Now we're catching up with a little boy from Warrington who's embarking on a life-changing journey. Three-year-old Ethan Connolly has a rare condition which leaves him with large cysts on his face. Now the only expert who's prepared to operate on a patient so young is an American surgeon who travels to Germany twice a year. So Ethan and his family set off from Liverpool Airport on their journey to Berlin. Our reporter Tessa Chapman joined them. You're going on the aeroplane, you're going high in the sky. Who are we going to see when we get there? He knows he's going to see a doctor, but Ethan's too young to understand how important this trip is. A rare medical condition creates huge cysts on his tongue, eye and chin and means he has to breathe through a tube in his neck. But there is a surgeon who says he can help him lead a normal life. And here in Germany's capital city is where they hope it can all happen. Dr Milton Weiner, an internationally renowned paediatric surgeon, flies here to Berlin from New York twice a year to treat children from all over Europe. Over the next few days, he'll operate on more than a dozen, hopefully including Ethan. Before the consultation, there's time for Ethan to relax and for his parents to take stock. Can you see him? They're just having a swim, aren't they? How would you like things to be for him? Just the same as any other child. I just, um, you know, not anything special. I just want him to be able to go, go to the park, go to the zoo, go wherever he wants to without being stared at and pointed at. Berlin's Benjamin Franklin Hospital, and the time has come for Ethan's appointment. But this is unfamiliar territory, and the family's nerves are showing. It's good to be here, it is good to be here, but we're still a bit apprehensive. I mean, any operation is quite daunting anyway. Uh, but to come over to a country where the, the foreign language and everything, it's a bit, it is a bit daunting for us at the moment. There are photos to be taken for records, a meeting with the anaesthetist. And again. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. And hours and hours and hours spent patiently waiting. I'm starting to feel a bit sick with nerves at the minute. I think I've relaxed a bit more once I've spoken to him and found out exactly what's happening um, and what Ethan's going to be like afterwards as well. Then finally the moment arrives. Dr Weiner is ready to see them. So, how are you going, mister? All right? He's developing self-image. He's learning about himself. He's learning about the rest of the world. And the sooner we can get him functioning and looking normal, the better off he is. We'll start doing some laser work to clear his airway, hoping that eventually we'll be able to get rid of his tracheostomy. Excellent. There's a certain amount of asymmetry, so we can correct that. The conclusion, he can remove some of the soft tissue under Ethan's chin and above his eye and use lasers inside his throat and on his tongue. So how did it go then? Um, really well. Um, it's going to make a massive difference to his face and it'll be weird seeing him it. It's the end of a long day for Ethan and his parents. It's been seven hours since they arrived here at the hospital and only now have they had it confirmed that his operation will take place at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. No doubt there's a sleepless night ahead. Tessa Chapman, Granada Reports in Berlin. Yes, what a lovely family they are. And we're going to find out how Ethan and his family get on in tomorrow's Granada Reports. Truly really remarkable little boy. Over to Bill and Mary now for the national and international headlines.